he has listed the number of cancers he's seen in a six-week period of time that he's never seen in a 40-year career. Wow. And so he, he asked what could be causing that. So I, I sent him that paper as a potential mechanism because that toll-like receptor number four is critical in the, in the microenvironment to keep cancers in check. So I was talking to uh, Harvey Rich, the world-renowned epidemiologist. He said, well, you know, close to shot or a therapy, it's usually going to be five, 10 years till we see these signals. And I said, yeah, usually it would be. But when we have something we've never done before that's suddenly suppressing one of these receptors that's highly, highly responsible for keeping cancers in check, it would be very explicable as to why something that is quiescent all of a sudden wakes up. So, I mean, all day long, our cells are fighting off mutations in different cells. If they, they see the mutation, they're trying to kill that cell. If this receptor is downregulated, then all those downstream uh, molecules inside that cell that's fighting there, it can't fight because those signals are now turned off. The, the cytokines, the interferons, the things that will attack that atypical cell. So we're seeing the early signals of this. And so that's what's concerning is we want to be able to, you know, under the microscope, you know, here's a whole stack of tumors in the last couple of weeks where what am I wow. doing with these? I'm looking at the ratios of the helper T cells, the, the CD8 killer T cells, and then we'll be staining these for all these toll-like receptors as well. Because in some of these patients, um, again, inexplicable cancers at, at really unusual ages that are really thick cancers and really aggressive cancers compared to what we are used